a word for morning prayer today, betrayed. In the morning prayer reading from Luke chapter 9 today, Jesus was just coming down a mountain where he'd taken Peter, James and John and they'd had an amazing spiritual encounter. But they came back to earth with a bang, like coming back to work after a break or going back to school. When you're at school and you start a break, you can feel betrayed by shops with signs saying, back to school. Well, a desperate father begged Jesus for help. His only son was tormented by spiritual darkness and suffered seizures, fits of screaming and convulsions. There were nine disciples left behind who had tried to help, but they all failed. This drove Jesus mad. How long had he been showing them this? Their lack of faith betrayed their attempts. Whatever trouble the poor boy was obviously troubled at the presence of Jesus. A light greater than the darkness had arrived. The kingdom of God is here. Darkness is betrayed by Jesus' light. Jesus rebuked the darkness and healing came in and the boy was restored to his father and they were amazed at the greatness of God and his kingdom brought freedom to another family in Israel. But while everyone marveled at this, Jesus spoke quietly to his followers, I'm going to be betrayed. The son of God given into human authority and power. How could they understand? How can someone who evicts evil spiritual powers be overpowered by temporary mere human power? It doesn't make sense. How can someone so good be betrayed? So they change the subject. Who is the best? Who is the greatest disciple? They just shrank back into debate about power they could understand, power they could grasp. They were betrayed by leaders to the power of the empire. But they could exert power over each other. So far from understanding him, he spoke in a way they could. A child has no power but the Father's love. Jesus' simplicity betrayed human wisdom. As John tried to impress Jesus with his fierce loyalty, his jealousy betrayed his true heart. Jesus is jealous for the kingdom and betrayed mere human loyalty for heaven's true authority. Our human hearts betray our true thoughts. But Jesus betrayed the human emotions and understanding to the cross. And his betrayal into the hands of the empire was victory over darkness for the kingdom of God. So the word for morning prayer today is betrayed. <laughs>